Hi, good morning, Rahul. How are you? Your voice is not audible. Are you able to hear me? Good morning, Rauji. I can barely hear you. I think uh, just check once again your uh, mic. It is audible, but uh, you know the voice is not up, uh, not able to hear you properly. It's very low. <clears throat> Hello. Much better. Now it's uh, absolutely fine. Okay. Is it audible now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So Great. can we just uh, test the presentation? Uh, you want to? Yeah, sure. So you would be uploading it. Or should uh, we do it? How do you want it? Uh, like I can do it, that's fine with me. Okay. So Lalit, why don't you give uh, Rahulji these speakers, right? Yeah. yeah present. Rahulji, now you can share your screen. Aja, let me check. Thank you. Yeah. So where is the option of sharing? Below, below, near to the start video option. You find it in the bottom share option. Share my screen. Yes. Or yeah, can you to... share file also? You have to open the PPT first and then you can, uh, you know, on the share, uh, select the PPT. Share the screen and then select. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. First, you click on the share. You should your PPT yes. should be opened already. And uh, I think now we are able yes, to yes. see something. Yes, your PPT is visible. Just go one slide here and there. Yeah, I think visible? this is fine. Yes, yes. And can we see the participants also? Yeah, you can. Uh, you can see the participants. It's saying view all attendees. Can you see? Yeah, it is showing four people, like four internal people, I think it is showing. Love. Yeah. Uh, only the internal people are being shown here. No, no, below that you must be no. having. No, no, there is another call. Like uh, I am having this uh, expand panel to show video. So if I clicking expand panel, then uh, there are four uh, people that we are here, like uh, Apka, Rohinji, Lalitji, and CI internal cell. Yeah. No, below that there is there are attendees also. Uh, uh, Lalit will uh, maybe uh, you know call you and explain. Lalit, why don't you uh, call uh, chat? Uh, Let me see uh, the chat option in the chat. Yeah, chat is coming. Just a minute, I will just check. Yeah, participants. Yeah, there are seventy participants which they are showing. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 
so we'll just remove these uh, presenter right just now. You know, we'll uh, do an introduction and then uh, we'll hand it over to you. Yeah? And then I can the participants also interact as we do in Zoom. Yes, they can. Yeah. Oh, okay, sure. Because I want we that this should be an interactive session. Absolutely. Sure, sure. A very good morning to uh, all the participants who have joined us for the workshop today on leadership development. Do 1% and uh, a blueprint to achieve your uh, version 2. I'm also excited to, uh, you know, learn from this uh, session. Um, you know, there is a lot that uh, I think every one of us can learn. A little bit uh, brief about uh, our speaker for the day, um, Mr. some technical issue. <laughs> yeah, so a uh, little bit brief about our speaker for the day, Mr. Rahul Jain, who is the founder of BizWiz Learning and an edutech company into uh, leadership development. He is a mentor at the IMS Ahmedabad CIIE and he has also authored multiple courses. His courses are also listed on uh, uh, Udemy. Uh, he is also director at Sandeep Group of Companies and at LMI India. He's actively involved in different projects at GTO, JBM, JETF, JIIF, etc. And he's an active contributor to social and not to profit, not for profit initiatives too. Uh, Mr. Jain is a life member of NHRDM, AIMA, and a member of CII. Tai, etc. He is also involved in philanthropic work through his charitable trust, Sandeep Welfare Trust. By qualification, Mr. Jain is an MBA from MDI Gurgaon and a fellow company secretary. He has done uh, OHB from Laureate University US and his interest lies in equity research and spiritualism, awarded by LMI, BNI US and many other institutions. This was a little bit brief about uh, a speaker for the day. And uh, with this, I would now like to hand it over to Mr. Jan, um, and I'm eager to uh, learn, uh, you know, from today's topic. And I hope the same for all the participants. Welcome, Mr. Jan. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Rohit. And uh, I will like to welcome all of you to this leadership development webinar, which will help you to achieve your version two. By do 1%, 100% done blueprint, which is propounded by me. And I'm really feeling privileged today that I am there with you. So thank you for introducing me in such a manner. Thank you, CII. Thank you, Lalitji, Rohinji, for taking this uh, wonderful initiative and also uh, helping people to empower themselves. Well, it's, our, it's our vision also. So being here uh, with all of you is really huge for me. And my, as our company's vision is to create and empower 1 million business leaders in next five years. So such a pleasure meeting all of you. And despite being the busy schedule, uh, you are here, uh, despite being such a situation that we all are in right now. So this shows that you are committed. You are committed to yourself. So big round of applause for all of you. Yeah, please have a round of applause for yourself because uh, virtually we can do such kind of applauses. Currently, uh, yeah, th through this WebEx, a very wonderful platform. So today's topic is really powerful. As we have uh, mentioned about the topic's title, 
but the one thing is very important that we need to be 100% here and uh, being here all of you have shown the commitment so i'll request all of you to show the same commitment show the same commitment throughout and eliminate all other browsers because if we are here 100% then we can give our best and we can utilize this uh, webinar uh, to our advantage to our maximum advantage so i will uh, request all of you to introduce yourself on the chat so type your name location and industry so that i can uh, uh, see the type of audience that we are having right now so yeah you can uh, introduce yourself on the chat box can you type your name name industry and location am i audible to the participants yeah okay gurpreet ji is there mr gurpreet so uh, which uh, location and which industry you are from and you can also write down one objective that you want to fulfill through this web webinar one of the most important objective that you want to fulfill through this uh, session yeah mr shiv is there from noida geo special welcome mr shiv so please uh, uh, all of you can come in and you can type your details on the chat so we are we are having people from chennai hyderabad so pan india presence is there that's really great from sri ram pistons so that's really wonderful from uh, there is a uh, from automotive chennai so great uh, participation we are having today so let me just begin with one of the questions that i want to ask you so i will share my screen i'll just share the content in the meantime you can type in your introductions name location and industry so let me yeah let me share the screen here so mr sandeep is there from bombay also so bombay presence from bombay is also there gaziabad mr arun is there shriram pistons great great going so yeah so let us start with one of the simple uh, query i want to ask from all of you so let me just go straight to the query this is this we have already discussed about what we what what is our vision etc so let me just start with the query so who is this person in front of you the visual that you are seeing can you recognize this person can you name put on the chat who is this person yeah great great mr ganesh miss falguni nair so she uh, who is she yeah she is naika chairman absolutely congratulations ganesh you have uh, hit the uh, right chord and you have given the right answer great so she is the naika of uh, she is the ceo of the naika and she has achieved this success phenomenal success because of her vision because of her commitment her uh, right actions and she has been able to achieve her long term and short term goals and she has become one of the richest india's 20s richest people you can see the list here so do you want to be naik of your own domain what do you mean by naik or naika what do you mean by naik or naika anybody so what is what do you mean by naik or naika yes naik or naika is leader or we can say role model also lead actor great so do you want to be the ceo or the naik of your own destiny yes or no do you want to be that great great to have your participation so this webinar will give you this transformational shift we'll share a blueprint do 1% 100% done blueprint 
which will help you to have better control on your destiny to become to achieve the role, to achieve what you want in your life to achieve your dreams to become a role model yes you can do that to influence people in a better manner to achieve higher growth whether in your career in your business or in any aspect of your life so we will be discussing the aspects how to do this in next 2 hours so wonderfully i am there with you and i hope you are ready with it my next question is what kind of potential are you using currently are you using your 100% potential are you using your 100% of your potential kya aap apni puri kshamta ka upyog kar rahe hain no yes mr amit is saying no and i feel yeah we are not using our 100% of our own potential that is there in fact albert einstein has also said that he was using just 10 to 15% of his potential so do you want to enhance the realization of your potential yes we all want so what is blocking our potential what is blocking our potential it's our own habits actions and attitude our own habits the way we do the things we do it through our habits some of the habits are good some of the habits are restricting our utilization of the potential same way lot of actions we are doing in a good manner in a right manner but some actions we are in our own comfort zone and we are not going beyond what we want to do so we are restricted by our own habits and act actions and above all our attitude because attitude precedes our actions so we are restricted by our own conditioning and attitude so we would be discussing about these aspects and that is one thing that i have learned throughout the years i have invested lakhs of rupees to create this blueprint millions of rupees you don't have to invest such amount now yes you have to just concentrate for next uh, say some time so that you can understand the blueprint and you can start applying right from the word go from today itself you can start applying and yes we can we are we are there to help you long term ci always organizes very good innovative webinars and workshops to help you throughout the life yes mr gurpreet is there our risk taking capability can be our bottleneck absolutely we are not taking risk etc so yeah so keep on coming on the on to the chat box because this is a platform where we are learning from each other this webinar is just not one sided webinar that i would be speaking this is a very interactive webinar so let's participate in the manner in which you are participating right now so we were discussing about the topic of utilization of the potential and what is a restricting our own potential so what to do for this how can we utilize our potential in a better manner that's why we will discuss today do 1% 100% done blueprint yes it is do 1% improvement every day now, now let me show you a visual so before uh, discussing about the blueprint let's understand this visual now how much is the difference between these two horses between the winner and the second one how much is the difference can you guess how much is the difference between the winner and the second one the horses are there first one and the second one yeah it is minuscule minuscule of the difference very thin difference but there is a huge difference in results huge difference in results with the minuscule difference there can be huge difference in results this is the slight edge that we will be giving to you today it is very small it might look very small but very hugely impactful in the results with a very small change in effort with a very small change in effort we can lead we can actually achieve huge change in the results this is nothing but do 1% improvement every day 
we would be able to achieve huge improvement in our uh, results. Like we take, let's take an, another example. In the same example, in fact, in this, the winner, which is the horse, which wins the race, the prize money is at least 10 to 12 times difference is there. And there's a saying, winners take it all. Another example, the similar example coming in my mind is 100 meter Olympics race is going on. And the winner, we know the world record holder. Who is the world record holder of 100 meters Olympic race? Yes, Mr. Shev is saying Usain Bolt. Yes, great answer, right answer. So Usain Bolt, we know the name Usain Bolt because he's the winner of 100 meter Olympic race. But we might not remember the second one or third one. So that is the big difference. This hardly one second or less than one second difference is there between the first and second in the Olympics race. In fact, 0 0.01 second sometimes. But we know the name of the world record holder. We know how much prize money has won. Millions of dollars. Much more than the second one. Isn't it? So don't discount on the small changes that we can do in ourselves. In fact, the small changes can bring in the compounding effect, which we'll see in the coming slides. So if we want to bring in compounding effect in our life, which helps us to grow 24 by 7, then we need to apply this blueprint. That's why this blueprint is hugely, hugely beneficial. And it will help you to become a role model, to become the CEO of your own life. So let me ask you now, let me come to your pain points straight away. So what is the top challenge that you are facing currently during these times? What is the top challenge? So can you note down in your notes, in any piece of paper, can you note down the challenges which you are facing? As I said, this is a interaction going on. So can you note down? Yes. Can you note down in your notes the main challenges which you are facing? And in that, can you circle the top challenge that you are facing currently? Yeah, Mr. Raghavan is saying low confidence, okay? That is, that's a very common challenge. In fact, more than 95% people, they are having this kind of challenge. I had also the similar challenge in the initial years of my career. Low, low confidence, fear, panic. Aligning, how to align between performance and potential, Mr. Arun is saying. Absolutely. So it's a great point. It's a great uh, 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 experience that we might be facing. There is a misalignment. How to be more assertive? How to communicate effectively? Yeah, please keep on coming. Type your topmost challenge. How to have the blueprint, lay down the path. Empathy, resilience. Fear of applying the thoughts, fear of rejection. Change in technology. Great, great. So great uh, participation. Now, uh, let me sum up because uh, we interact with business leaders day in, day out. And these are the challenges which are common challenges as you have also stated in the chat. Some of the challenges are written here also. How to handle self? How to handle team? Unable to meet desired goals. We might be having uh, n number of goals. We are unable to achieve what we want to achieve. Work-life imbalance is a big challenge. Though we are working from home, many times we are working from home now, but still there is a work-life imbalance. We are not that physically fit now. Or we, we might be having fatigue, emotional fatigue. As you have mentioned in the chat, uncertainty is there. So how to handle these challenges? What needs to be done? What characteristics we need to have to face these challenges? Kya karna chahiye as a situation? What we have to do now? So let us discuss that. Let us discuss firstly what we have to do. But before that, 
before that let us also have one more exercise on your challenges this is a different kind of exercise you have noted down the top challenge you have noted down the challenges in your notes but this will be a different kind of exercise will which will give you different perspective on your own life about your own life because in life we want we balance we want balance yes so how to achieve balance in our life because we have seen that we might have whole lot of money but we are not healthy would we be able to enjoy that money no we won't be able to enjoy that money we are physically fit but we don't have necessary money with us we won't be able to enjoy life in that situation also so how to have the balance for that let us do this exercise to enhance our balance we need to know where we are right now first step is to identify where we are if we have to become master of our destiny then the step one is to understand to introspect within and to identify where we are and where we are in all the aspects of our life so these are the major aspects of our life given in this wheel whether it is finance whether it is your family spiritual that is your own self self development social then your physical fitness and mental development so can you rank yourself from 1 to 9 in all these aspects of your life currently where you are so individually you need to rank in all the aspects in the current situation one is highly dissatisfied nine is highly satisfied so rank one by one in your notes finance and career currently where you are nine if you are highly satisfied one if you are highly dissatisfied in between you can if average 4 5 same way with respect to your fitness physical fitness your mental self development social then your own self spiritual and family so all these aspects are very important to us now we need to identify where we are right now in these in these aspects of our life so have you ranked yourself from 1 to 9 so how many of you are say let's take one of the factors right now physical fitness or health how many of you are more than 8 or 8 8 or more than 8 in health and how many of you are less than 5 and where do you want to be in next one year so same time next year 2023 where do you want to be in all these aspects can you have a number where do you want to be in next one year mr deepak he is saying health less than 5 so deepak Uh, can can we have a voice interaction with deepak with mr deepak so where uh, where do you want to be next one year can you you can unmute and speak also and how will you fill this gap okay let's have an interaction from one of our internal team uh mr rohin is there yes yes i have just unmuted mr deepak jindal he can speak now okay great great so yeah mr deepak if you want to share that how will you fill your gap with respect to health what do you want to do to become more healthy to become better in your physical fitness in next one year you can type also if you don't want to speak you can you can type if there is a bandwidth problem yeah and all of you can type that what will you do to fill the gap in any one of the top priority which you are having 
you can type on the chat or if you want you can speak you can raise your hand uh, our in, in team will unmute you and you can speak also you can raise your virtual hand yeah mr deepak is saying he wants to have consistency in walk and exercise excellent excellent thought mr deepak and uh, you have written we'll try to add some healthy habit great now this is a good action which you have written but we, we need to improvise this now further we need to make it more smart so we need to have smart goal in our mind that's why uh, we then only we would be able to achieve what we want to achieve this is the first few steps that we have to do we need to make it more smart that is specific measurable attainable realistic and tangible so when we want to achieve better fitness so we need to have smart goal that is next one year say the weight should be say at least less than 10 kg so we, i have to reduce my weight by 10 kg so that can be a smart goal and by doing exercise so how much time you want to do exercise every day say one hour so you need to have that smart goal for your activity also because they, there is a research there is a research that those who have smart written goals they are much more successful and they, they are just 5% people who do this and they become outperformers so what needs to be done can you write down a smart goal for yourself which will help you to plug one particular gap now there is a statement by somebody will try to add some healthy habit it's a very good thought but then further we need to improvise this which habit and what will you do for that so make it more specific is that helpful to you will it help you if you are more specific start is very good but loses with time consistency is very important but not able to yeah true deepak ji this is a challenge which most of the people face that there is lack of consistency and consistency is actually the ninth wonder of the world if we are doing one particular activity consistently we will be able to achieve that so i'll be throwing some light and giving my inputs on to this part also about the consistency in my coming slides i'll come to this point but but let's let's firstly let's start with what we want to do in our life what are what are our smart goals and also write down what we don't want to do let's not have 100 goals together let's not have 20 goals let's have five six very important goals for next one year in all these aspects of our life or most of these aspects so to do is very important and not to do is also very important so that's why that will lead to prioritize prioritization so not to do list should also be there what we want to reduce so okay so this is this is my uh, request for everybody to identify the gap and also to write down a smart goal to achieve or plug that gap so that you are able to achieve more happiness in your life yes so this is a, a interesting exercise which most of you have participated thank you for your participation thank you for your regular and interactive participation and let's participate in the same manner anybody who wants to write down the smart goal they can put on the chat i can give my inputs also yes write down your smart goal to plug one particular gap it can be financial it can be fitness any aspect of your life which which is important for you yeah please put down on the chat now let's come to the next uh, aspect which is very important and uh, which uh, will help you how to how to uh, achieve this uh, these uh, goals that we want to achieve in our life how to achieve higher happiness what kind of characteristics we need to have we need to have the characteristics of transformational leader 
you have to become the transformational leader. And what are the essential characteristics to uh, to become the transformational leader? To have our version two, which is much better of ourselves, to improve on our consistently. What is what are the most important characteristics of leadership? As a leader, what kind of characteristics we need to develop in ourselves? That's a very important uh, question that we need to ask to ourselves. Yes, a leader, a true leader is a person who converts crisis into opportunity. Who converts crisis into an opportunity. Who conquers the adversity. Who, uh, uh, who is able to achieve his vision with the help of others. That's why you see a uh, lot of uh, uh, personalities are mentioned on the slide. These are all of them are wizards. All of them are truly they are leaders, business leaders. Whether it is Elon Musk. So let us take that case of Elon Musk here. He has been a true visionary. What is what is the vision of Elon Musk? Anybody? He is famous for what? Elon Musk. Can you type on the chat? What is he famous for? What is the vision of Elon Musk? Yes, am I audible? Can you type? What is the, uh, for what he is famous, Mr. Warren Buffet, Mr. Bill Gates? You can type on the chat. Yes, Alan Musk, he is famous for his sustainability. Values relating to sustainability, as he has already uh, uh, shared a wonderful product with the world, which is Tesla. And the world is going in an EV way, electric vehicle way. We have seen how electric vehicles are becoming popular. And he has been able to uh, elaborate his vision, and he has been able to execute his vision through his influence, through his. Uh, uh, remarkable resilience. He has faced ups and downs in his life, but he has shown the resilience. Same way, now Mr. Warren, Mr. Bill Gates, is he in running Microsoft right now? Is he involved in day-to-day -day operations? Is Mr. Bill Gates involved in day-to-day -day operations right now? Yes or no? Can you type on the chat? Who is the CEO of uh, Microsoft? Currently, who is the CEO of Microsoft? Yeah, Mr. Lalit, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. Yes, so who is the CEO of Microsoft right now? You can type on the chat. Yesterday only, they have done a big acquisition. Company has done a big acquisition. Mr. Satya Nadella is the CEO. And Mr. Bill Gates, he is not involved in right now day-to-day -day operations. So he has been able to create leadership where the company is running without himself. Where the company is growing without himself. He is created a legacy. Because a leader is a person who acts as a role model. Who inspires the team of um, from uh, the vision that he is giving to them so that's why leadership is not just on the top leadership is there with everybody if we are doing if we are beating our best we are doing our dharma we are doing our karma with dharma that is the true leadership so this kind of attribute we need to inculcate, we need to improvise continuously, which will really help us to achieve what we want in our life. So this is the, uh, you can say the characteristics of what we, what is required from our side. And most of us know this. Most of us know this. They have read it also. 
But the challenge is how to achieve this, how to become true leader, how to transform ourselves and our, our team members continuously, how to have version 2. So for that, this blueprint will help us. There are four steps in this blueprint. Two, one percent, hundred percent done. There are four steps. So are you ready to know the steps? Yes, participants, I want more interaction from you. Are you ready for these four steps? Yes or no? Please type yes on the chat if you are ready. Because Sai, Sai Vidhi Sai Siddhi Milti hai. Yes. So if you, if you want to achieve the growth, if you want to achieve higher happiness, greater happiness, these four steps will help you. In fact, we have already started with these steps through our previous exercises. So the first step, let's discuss these four steps. which will help you to transform yourself. Step number one, identifying the gap. So we have already started doing this exercise in the beginning of the session. We have already done that. Few exercises to identify our gap areas. And further, we'll also do one more exercise, which will be further help us in going into the roots of our gaps. Why the gap is happening? What are the major causes behind those gaps? We will be discussing that. So this first step is very important and you have already started doing that. Great, great uh, job by all of you that you have started introspecting, you have started identifying the gap within in all the aspects of your life. Then the second step is equally important. You have also started with this, isn't it? Developing smart goals, as we were discussing earlier. And not only goals need to be smart, but action also needs to be there in a specific manner. We need to have plan of action to achieve our goal. So I'll be discussing about it in a detailed manner. I'll be giving you a template also, a tool which will help you in converting goals into results through plan of action. So am I with you, all of you? Am I making sense? So I'm assuming that you are understanding. The third point is, as some of you were saying, that consistency might be lacking. Our, ha our habits might be having that, uh, uh, might be creating that, uh, we can say, speed breaker. So we need to have our behavior also in alignment with our actions. So implementation by behavior change, that's the third point that we need to focus on. And we coming to that point, we'll be giving you a template for this also. How can we become more consistent? How can we change our habits, negative habits into positive habits? We'll be discussing some tools in this uh, uh, step also. And the fourth one, fourth step is very important. It's very crucial because whatever we can measure, we can manage. If we are not measuring, we won't be able to know where, uh, what we have been able to achieve. And what is the gap between the results and the goals? We need to manage it on a continuous basis. We don't have to leave it to the last. And after one year, we'll see the performance. Then it will, it might be too late. So we need to have right kind of measurement metrics. We need to have tracking, tracking of the measurement on a continuous basis. It can be daily, weekly. It can be monthly, depending on the goals 
happen depending on the activities that we are doing. So let's take an example here. Like one of you mentioned that we want to do uh, walking and exercises regularly to have better fitness. So one of the participants mentioned this to do walking. So we, we can have a measurement with respect to walking. So daily one hour walking. So can we have matrices of uh, daily tracking of one hour walking? So that can be that can be very useful way of tracking our results, measuring our results. Same way with respect to business. Suppose we want to achieve sales, say 50% growth in sales in next one year. So are we measuring it on a continuous basis? on a monthly basis, on a weekly basis, what is the change in the sales? And are we also measuring the activities which can lead to higher sales? That is the inputs. It might be meetings. It might be number of calls. It might be something else depending on your business model. So are we measuring those activities also on a continuous basis? Yeah, so for sales, if we want to measure calls, calls can be measured on a daily basis also, isn't it? And can we do 1% improvement in that? Small improvements, instead of making 10 calls every day, can we do 12 calls? That 20% extra effort can lead to huge change in the results also. So yeah, two calls every day is like 20% effort. We are given 10 calls every day. And that can lead to change in our results also. Yes, so we need to have this uh, kind of matrices very clear in our mind. Both in form of output and in form of inputs. So I want to ask you here, what kind of measurements do you want? Can you write down the some measurements for the goals that you have written? Yes, write down the measurements and we'll come to that in the fourth step when I will be discussing that in detail. So these are the four steps very useful and uh, we'll also now elaborate on these steps one by one in the, in the coming uh, next one hour. Now, <clears throat> before elaborating <clears throat> let's understand why this blueprint can help us in a great manner because you see this is a research done by marshall goldsmith and others and it has been published in ama handbook of leadership that the major reasons of leadership failure there are two major reasons of leadership failure one is interpersonal leadership skills that is how we are uh, how are we interacting with each other? What kind of relationship are we having? Interpersonal skills. So the people who are failing in their business or in their career, they one of the major reasons is they don't gel with others in a right manner. So what needs to be done in this area? How can we change ourselves to become better communicator? Because communication is just not only exchange of words. It's about exchange of feelings. Isn't it? We need to understand each other in a better manner. And that's sometimes it's also our habits. Habits of listening. Habits of understanding others. Habit of effective communication. So it's all about practicing and creating right habits which we are focusing in this blueprint to create right habits. The second reason which is leading to failure is self-management, personal skills. How are you managing yourself in a better manner? If you are unable to do, if you are unable to prioritize, unable to manage your time, then it will lead to less success. It will lead to failures. It won't. It will lead to lack of goals uh, that we want to achieve. 
So what are we doing for self-management? Now, <clears throat> there is a quote, attitude is more important than talent to achieve success. The right attitude is also part of self-management. So that's why this blueprint is really useful for us because it is focusing on these two aspects in a great manner. And there is another study, a study of 1200 managers. This study is focusing on one very important issue of peak performance. How can we achieve this peak performance? And this study found that only 4% were true peak performers. So what led to that peak performance? Any guess? What has led to the peak performance? Because only 4% were peak performers. Any ideas? What has led to this peak performance? And it is related to what we are discussing. Yes, it is greatly related. Yes, people, any guess? You can type on the chat. Or you can speak also. You can raise your hand. You can discuss. So what has led, led to the peak performance? Any guesses? So let me share... Uh, yeah. So let me share the next point here, which will help you to understand how they have become peak performers. They are very good in responsibility. They take the total responsibility of themselves. And this is the key which separates from peak performance with ordinary performance. Taking total 100% responsibility. No blame, no excuses. 100% responsibility of our results, of our actions. That's why this blueprint focus on ourselves. Identifying the gaps. Creating smart goals and smart actions. And changing the behavior within to track the results. So the, this whole four steps is focusing on our own self. Yes, this will lead to peak performance. And you will be in that 4%, top 4% performers. Just uh, you need to be true to the, these steps. I will want to share a story here right now. What a lovely baby photo you are seeing here. Now I will share my story of my uh, simple, uh, I'm, I'm a simple person. But I want to share a story here. It might help all of you. Like in my childhood, I had a premature birth. Until age five, I was uh, struggling uh, with a disease known as nephritis. So I didn't have the salt till age five. I had lack of confidence in my childhood. I was uh, uh, fearful of numbers. I failed in maths exam in ninth class in my midterms. Today I am coaching on financial and leadership areas, but I failed in maths exam. I had public uh, stage fright in my school and college days. Yes, I was, I had a fear of public speaking. And there is a saying also that after that, number two fear is public speaking. But yeah, I had a fear because I was not so confident and I was unable to do practice, etc. So then in my business, uh, I started my own, on my own in 2002. First two, three years I didn't, I failed miserably. I didn't do well. And it was not because of it's a, it was a startup. It was because of my own personal habits. That is, I lacked prioritization. I had self-doubts. I was not taking the actions which I should have taken. That is, in terms of planning, in terms of engaging with my team members, in terms of understanding them. 
So in 2005, I started realizing, realizing my own shortcomings and I started investing in my upskilling. I started investing in my own self-development and I invested millions of rupees in that. Two years, I literally worked very hard in improving myself, my attitude, my goals, having smart goals, working on to my behavior part, working on to my habits, which has led to this success, which is that now I'm financially free and I am pursuing my passion and my profession. So this is my passion to empower human potential. And luckily, now I'm pursuing this as my profession. And we have held many kinds of companies, Fortune 500, startups, uh, business owners, business leaders, working professionals, students, IMs, IITs, etc. And this, this has been because of this four steps that I am discussing with all of you. And when a simple person like me can do, you can do much more actually. Easily you can do much more. You are talented. All of you are bright, professionals, business leaders. Just we need to focus on these steps. And I now next one hour I'll be focusing on the nitty gritties of these steps. So that you can start applying it in a right manner. It's all about the application. Even one idea which you apply today, start applying today, can bring transformation in our life. So focus on the idea which you like. Focus on creating smart goals and smart actions. And start taking the action. Start blocking your time for that particular action and goal in your day-to-day -day schedule, which will help you to achieve the exponential growth. So let's understand the first step in detail now. That is to identify the current performance. Now in this, let's do one activity. So are we ready with a particular activity? Yes, we are ready with it. Please type on the chat, yes or no. So let's do this activity which will further help you to know about your strengths and your weaknesses. That is areas where we want to improve our performance. So I'll show you certain competency areas which can really improve our performance. You need to introspect with them. You need to identify your own performance blockers. Select five that are essentials to improve your performance. So this is an essential, but essentials, not the essential that we have experienced. We are experiencing today in pandemic times, essentials are very important. There to improve your attributes your performance. So let me show you those attributes. Self-assessment activity, very important activity. And you have essentials identify essentials. You need to see these aspects and identify the performance blockers. So out of these, which are your top three performance blockers? So start with your planning. If you are good in planning, that's, that's your strength. But if you are not doing a written planning, you are not creating written goals and plan of action. So that is the area of improvement in your performance. Yes. Same way, second point is about ineffective delegation. Unable to get the work done from others as you want. Then it is ineffective delegation. Yeah, you are delegating, you are allocating the work, but the other person or your team is not doing the work as per your desires. They are not doing the work completely as per your desires. Then there is a, some 
deficiency in our delegation, then it becomes ineffective delegation. So identify your performance blockers are out here. Can you write down top three performance blockers? It can be self-organizing. You are not doing the self-organization. That is keeping the right things and right place, speaking the right words that will come in communication. So how is your communication? Are you good or do you want improvement in that? Prioritization is another very crucial factor. We might have a lot of time. We are good in time management. Still, we are unable to achieve our goals because of lack of prioritization. We are not doing the important things. We are just focusing on firefighting. We are just focusing on routine operations. We are not devoting time to innovation. This is the right time to reimagine yourself. So how is your prioritization? Suboptimal teamwork, not having, getting the best out of the team, unable to motivate them, unable to manage your time, stress, very high stress. So there's a lot of stress, a lot of time pressure is there. Interruptions, you are bothered by distractions. Sometimes it is Facebook, sometimes social media, giving too much time to say OTT or screen time is very high. Meetings, lengthy group meetings going on. So identify your interruptions. Are you good in managing interruptions or you need improvement? Same way other factors are also there. Work-life balance, imbalance. Rework or rejections are high in your manufacturing unit or from the customer, higher complaints are there. Yeah, so can you identify the top three factors where you need improvement in your own areas, in your own department, in your own self we are talking about, your internal factors which you can change, which you have control. And can you type the one factor, topmost factor out of this, which is becoming a performance blocker? Type on the chat box. So let, let's have some interaction now. Either on chat or through your uh, voice interaction, you can raise your hands. Let me ask one of the internal members also out here to understand their performance blocker. Yeah, Mr. Rohin, do you want to participate? Can you share your performance blocker? Uh, Mr. Lalit can also share. Yes, am I audible? You can type also on the chat one of the performance blockers. Yes, so I am getting some chat uh, messages. Mr. Solanki is saying interruptions. Yeah, interruption is a very common uh, uh, performance blocker. Managing our distractions. We, we feel, uh, we might be distracted because of the onslaught of the social media or, or, or we are in the, this online world. In fact, distractions have increased by five times during this pandemic. It's a major challenge that we all are facing. Mr. Raj Gopalan is saying prioritization. Some One of you is saying time management. Mr. Jagdale, work-life balance. Yeah, written plan. Mr. Gautam is saying. Absolutely. Thank you for your participation. Please keep on coming so that we can uh, identify our own uh, performance blockers. Now the next point that we need to focus on that what are we doing or what actions can we take to improve on these areas? Are you committed to take some actions to improve in this area which is blocking your performance? What is your commitment level from one to 10? 
you need to ask yourself what needs to be done to increase your commitment level what needs to be done write down all the benefits that you will get if you manage this performance competencies if you are if you become master in that particular competency what kind of benefits that you would be having what kind of goal you would be able to achieve so if you are suppose let's take one example now say if you are able to mr bhaskara is saying his uh, challenge is time pressure so suppose if he is able to manage his time pressure he becomes master in time management in next one year then what will it lead to mr bhaskara if you are uh, very good if you become very good in time management what can it lead to yeah so one of our participants in my leadership coaching programs that we do one of our, my participant he had also same uh, challenge of time management and this is one of the very common challenge when he was able to handle this time management in next 6 7 months he was able to master this he was able to save at least 2 hours every day because of better time management he was able to achieve the goals he was able to achieve 30% increase in sales and profits he was a business owner he was able to devote more time to his clients more time to help his team members coach his team members more time to review and help to improve the performance of his team so he has been able to improve the profits by 30% and that was around 1 crore rupees on an annualized basis so just by focusing on one skill he was able to have this tremendous change so can you write down the benefits that you will get by working on this attribute would you be writing down this is one of the homework which i want to give as a as a coach i i like to give homework but i don't want to give too much of work you can just take one habit one performance blocker this month in january month for next one month the attribute which is the most important performance blocker which is blocking your performance take that one attribute only right now and start working on to improve that would you be doing that type yes if you want to do and start writing down the benefits that you would be having and have smart goals if you are able to overcome that what will you be able to achieve so visualize that visualize the goals that you want to achieve by writing down the goals so that is my second step so let's come to the second step of our uh, blueprint which is visualization of the goals by smart framing of the goals that is goals need to be written it needs to be written in a smart manner and just focus on few goals five or six goals at one point of time don't have too many goals so write down firstly you can write down all the goals that you want to achieve say in next one year say you write down 25 goals so cut down the remaining 25 goals and just focus on five prioritize and focus on those five goals right now next 6 months focus on those five goals and if you are able to achieve then take further goals so that will help you in prioritizing yes so i was discussing about that performance blocker and then relating that with your goals so yeah coming to the second step so developing smart goals and plan of action we have discussed about this earlier also so now i would like to ask you again that what do you want to achieve in next one year time create smart goal in all these areas of life have five smart goals 
smart, specific, that is what to be done, when to be done, measurable, how much to be done, attainable, I have to arrange those resources to attain that particular goal. Yes. So, if we have to suppose reliance, if we take the example of reliance, reliance is expanding like anything. In many verticals, it is there. We can see any every day it is coming up with new acquisitions. To achieve that, reliance has got strategy, its own strategy. It is raising funds. It is reducing the debt also, reducing the interest costs. So it has got the actions, action plan, smart goal. Same way we also have to create our own smart goals. Can we have smart goals in more in those five goals that we want? That five things that we want to achieve in our life in next six months time period? Yes. So please write down that. Share your goals here. Share one of the goals here. You can type on the chat. Please share it. Yes. So that I can give my comments. I can give my feedback which can further help in making it better. The goals can become better. Right now you can take my feedback. Yes. So after doing that, now the next question is, what smart actions would I be taking to achieve my goals? Well done. So one of you have written physical health to reduce 10 kgs. Great. Mr. Jagdale is saying uplifting human resource function. Very good thought. So in that, what do you want? In next six months, what specific do you want to achieve? Uh, please visualize and write it down. Yeah, mental and education is great. So what kind of self-development you want? What kind of courses or what kind of learning you want to do? And how much time do you want to devote? On a weekly or on a daily basis? You can visualize and write it down, Mr. Bhaskar, so that you are able to accomplish in the mental and educational area. Will that help you? Great, great. So, uh, now coming to the point that we were discussing here, after writing down the goals, because just writing down the important goals are, is not sufficient. Sometimes we think that uh, goals can lead to uh, uh, anything that we want. No. Just writing down smart goals will not lead to anything or everything. So, further on to that, we have to write down the actions and we have to enthusiastically act on a consistently daily basis. Plus, one thing that we were discussing earlier also, that in our day-to-day -day schedule, we tend to forget our long-term goals. We, or we tend to procrastinate it because we are very much busy. Yes, we become very much busy in our day-to-day -day life. So, how to overcome that? How to achieve long-term goals? If we are busy, how we will be able to achieve that? So, that's why we need to just focus on the activities which are unique to me and myself, which I can only do. The rest of the activities we need to delegate. So here four Ds are very important. Four Ds. So what are those four Ds? Delegate, defer, delete or do it now. So anything which can be done by other person, delegate. Yeah, start delegating, start training that other person so that that person can take that responsibility. And you can focus on high growth, you can focus on long term goals. So, can you identify a few activities which you can delegate, which will help you to uh, save time, which will help you in having better focus? Yeah, can you identify a few actions? Please write it down in your notes. Few actions which you which you would be delegating in coming times. 
and what kind of preparation or planning is required to delegate that is that other person also needs to be trained other person also needs to be informed so there needs to be a planning for delegation also and yeah that will save the time then another thing which can lead to focus on long term goals is defer that is have a block of time for a particular activity because if we do start devoting a block of time we won't be distracted and we can easily allocate block of times to diff calling randomly can we have a block of time for calls for both incoming and outgoing calls yes we can do that and that will that might save a lot of time same way for messages for emails identifying block of time can really help us so that's why delegate defer delete certain actions certain goals which is not important we can delete also we can stop wasting our time yes and do it now so that's so, so some activities which are very urgent we have to do that so if you have allocated time for a particular activity do it do it now so these four things will help you in having focus on long term goals so uh, and then what are the important uh, activities for a business leader or for persons who want to aspire for business becoming a business leader becoming a leader these two areas are very important which we have discussed earlier also that is planning planning day not only doing long term planning but also doing day to day planning so uh, can i give a time in the evening for doing the planning for tomorrow because that will save lot of time for tomorrow yes for tomorrow we can do planning for today evening itself which can really help us to have a head start while working for tomorrow so what time do you want to do planning daily in evening what's the time for your daily planning in evening and review for the day can you block the calendar right now suppose you want to do daily planning and review every day in 7 say 7 pm so can you block your calendar right now 7 pm or 6 pm or 8 pm whatever time you want in evening and in morning just we need to update our plan for the day so can you block the time for the day also for in the morning also say 9 am or 10 am or 7 am the more early we start the better it is because that will save our time a lot uh, it's because the early start will help us in preparing for the day early start will help us in planning for the day in the morning itself we can update our plan and we are we know what to do when to do how much we also have time for team engagement yes we want to get best out of our team but how much we are engaging with them are we engaging in a good manner then what further we can do to engage in a better manner or if we are not engaging so how much time we want to give every day to engage with the team or every week to engage with the team one on one am i making sense am i audible yes or no am i making sense to all of you so these are high pay of actions that we need to take and this as i discussed with you that i will be sharing an important tool with all of you so this tool is really useful for planning a goal for converting goals into results and this we say it as goal planning sheet uh, this is a tool of lmi so i am the director of lmi also leadership management international india which is world's which is a part of lmi us which is world's largest people development company 
and this is one of the very powerful tool that we use in our programs that we give to our participants to plan our goals in a better manner so let me just uh, help you how to use this you can take a screenshot or pick of this yes so so you have to start using this by writing your goals here in so in the beginning you have to write down the goals smart goal write down the goal statement uh, can you see the slide lalit ji can you see it yes i can see okay am i audible yes you are very much audible thank you thank you i hope i have got uh, some time to discuss yeah we do have time if anyone would like to speak to mr rahul ji uh, please comment or you know please comment i will so that i can unmute you from uh, my end yes yes you can please uh, if you want if you want to participate follow the instructions as mr lalit has said now coming back to this goal planning sheet very important tool because in this webinar we are not just uh, uh, here to discuss uh, ideas we are also here to implement the ideas yes that's a difference out here and how to is very important so this help this sheet will help us so start with your goals write down all the benefits that you will gain from achieving that goal so say one of you have written down to achieve better fitness by reducing 10 kg of weight so what kind of benefits you will be getting another person has written down to improve the profits by 40% in next 6 months so what benefits you will gain from that what losses you will avoid by improving profits what losses can you avoid like losses like stress or negative cash flows which you will avoid benefits benefits to your organization better reserves better cash flows better morale of the employees happy employees then there would be obstacle in every goal so what are the obstacles write down the top few obstacles here and for each obstacle write down the solution so suppose you want to increase profits by 30% obstacle is uncertainty uncertainty in the environment or pandemic so what can be the possible solutions maybe planning doing short term planning not only just long term doing uh, weekly planning then because that will help you in assessing the situation in short term only and you would be able to respond to the situation in a better manner so this will help you greatly so same way you can write down the key obstacles here one of the major obstacle is our own self that is our own attitude so what is our attitudinal obstacle might be procrastination might be time management might be fear insecurity or something else write it down here and write down the solution for that also so after that coming to the second part of the sheet you need to also we can also write down the actions which are required to achieve the goals to achieve that particular goal what actions what is the first action second action and so on so write down the actions all the actions which you uh, have to take with the dates mentioned here that is target date interim date of review and also write down the priority priority to achieve that goal uh, priority of actions actually sorry so write down the priority of those actions first action second action and so on and then who needs to know about this goal who need to know there should be one or two people who who you are accountable or who can be your uh, this partner buddy so write down the person's name also because if we don't have the accountability partner then we might not have Uh, that commitment 
which will be executed in a right manner. So that partner will help you in further adding the commitment to you to achieve that particular goal. It can be a coach also, coach like me or anybody. It can be your boss. Yeah, boss can be your best coach or best mentor in your organization. So please write down in your personal goals also write down a person who wants to know, who can help you in having that accountability. It can be your spouse or your parents or somebody whom you want to be accountable to. Then method of tracking progress. So as I was discussing, tracking is very important. So you need to have the different tracking uh, uh, parameters for each of the actions which you would be writing it. Some might be daily, some might be weekly. So you can write down. And then further, you can also have the match of your values and vision with your goals. Whether this Otherwise, it can be a big uh, frustration or big mental trauma if we are going against our values. So this is a kind of a self-check. Then affirmation. So positive statements to achieve that goal. Very important. Changing our mindset and behavior. So this one sheet is helping you in taking care of all those four steps that we were discussing. Visualization. So have a picture of achieving that particular goal, create a visualization for yourself and use that. Use that in your day-to-day uh, -day life. You can make it as a screensaver. Yes, somebody wanted to quit smoking. He made a password of his laptop as no smoking. So no smoking. So whenever he uh, uh, typed, so he was reminded no smoking, no smoking. And it has helped him considerably. Yeah, though the affirmation needs to be in positive statement. It needs to be in a positive statement, present tense and personal. Like I am having the highest profit in this current year. I am achieving 30% profit. It needs to be in present tense. And that will help you in removing that self-doubt. Having that confidence within. I hope this is clear. Any questions on to this? You can ask. You can type on the chat. Any questions on to goal planning sheet? So for each goal, you need to have one goal planning sheet. Now take your time. At least uh, it might take one to two hours to prepare a GPS for each goal. Yeah, I say it as GPS. This is another GPS besides the Google map. This, this GPS is also very powerful. This GPS is in fact much more powerful. Because it is giving you a map for your life, for your goals. So devote some time and uh, complete this uh, in say maybe in a week's time you can complete it. And if any further doubts we can always discuss. Yeah. So there are technology uh, uh, items and tools also which can really help us to improve our planning. Like simulation, business simulation is a very uh, useful tool which is, uh, uh, which is very uh, uh, good platform to assess our assumptions, to test our assumptions, to test our strategies, to improve our decision making. Because business simulation as a platform it helps us in creating a virtual scenario where you act as a business leader depending on the business simulation. And uh, that uh, through that platform, you are able to giving right kind of results or not. So this all happens on the software. Uh, so we will give access to all the participants uh, onto their email IDs so that they can download and they can use this software for improving their planning skills. Because this sim venture is an interactive simulation which allows a user to run business and deal with all the issues that business owner or business leader has to face. Yes, so it is a very good tool to improve our decision making skills 
to leverage on our on to our strengths and uh, very handy tool which which we all should use we, we should use that technology uh, upgradations for our own advantage so we will give we'll be giving this uh, particular uh, tool to all of you because it helps in providing a forum forum for discussion based on decisions and outcomes rather than just decisions because in case study you just decide you don't know what would be the outcomes but in the simulation you are able to uh, understand uh, your decision making uh, whether it is right or wrong or whether what was the consequences of those decisions because software will give you the results also and through this repeated application in a virtual environment it can help us in creating right habits creating good habits strengthening our strengths so this repeated application leads to uh, uh, improvement in our uh, uh, strengths and also improvement uh, we can improve our areas of weaknesses also in terms of by repeated application we are able to understand where is the fault where are the mistakes and we can take the corrective action to improve on to that so we'll be sharing with you the uh, this simulation on your email id you can download a lot of videos are there which will lead to better planning plus uh, uh, understanding and navigation of the software so there are a lot of business simulations available online also if you google you will get a lot of business simulations free of cost so you can use those simulations also now coming to the next point is about the actions because if we keep on repeating the same action we will keep on getting the same result so sometimes we set the goals but uh, most of the time we don't achieve the goals but still we keep on doing the same actions so again we'll keep on getting the same results so that's why now i will ask you what different actions will you take to achieve different results to achieve better goals to achieve superior goals stretch goals would you be doing something extra would you be doing some small change some 1% change in your process in your activities whether making them one call extra or doing half an hour exercise extra or giving some time to your family additional time to your family so you need to decide depending on the goals that you have taken also identify some actions which you would be doing some different actions which you will be doing is it important so can you write down so what different action would you take one different action a few actions which you would be which you have not taken now which you are not doing currently it might be doing less also it's not just doing more or doing new it can be not doing <clears throat> it can be doing less so for me it is like i i will uh, i have committed to myself that i will be giving less time to screen half an hour less time every day to screen and that half an hour i'll be giving time for content development so this kind of action all of us can have doing new or doing something more not doing or deleting or doing something less now can you share some of you? some of you can share on the chat or raise uh, uh, or say I, i want to share i want to unmute yeah please type on the chat what different actions would you be taking yeah think about it think about relate with your goals and think then what different actions would you be taking yes it needs thinking it needs introspection but we yeah, help kare and please share with me i can give my feedback right now like you see 
one of our participants, he has been able to save at least one month. One month in a year because of taking different actions, because of implementing this blueprint that we were discussing. Yes. So now coming to the behavior change, very important aspect. Because this is a big roadblock to our execution. There is a saying, change behavior leads to change in results. Change behavior. Yes, some of you have already given me this, uh, some actions which you would be taking. Thank you for your traction. Mr. Amit, he is saying planning before acting, very good. Mr. Ashwini, reducing mobile usage while at home. Absolutely wonderful. Time to engage team for work one to one. I'm just sharing so that we all can learn from it. How to set goals for long terms like five years or ten years. Yes, we will email the sheet also. Not to worry. We'll email the GPS. Now do 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 not entertain any unplanned work in between in schedule one until it's very, very good. It's like blocking of the time. Great sharings by all of you. Thank you for your sharing. And now coming back to this point of effective execution. So let's go into, uh, go into depth into this point. Let's understand the link between behavior and success. So when one gets positive results, then that person is more successful, isn't it? So if a kid goes from 10 to 11th class, then we say that person, that kid is successful, isn't it? So success is a function of results. And result comes out of our actions. Action is dependent on our attitude. An attitude is formed out of our habits. Habit is formed out of our conditioning. That is, if we do the things in a repeated manner, it becomes our habit. Like, uh, now we are habitual of using these online platforms. Whether it is WebEx or Zoom or Team or Google Meet. Unlike two, three years back, we were, most of us were not aware about these platforms. But now we are repeatedly using it. It has become part of our habit. Like, WhatsApp became part of our habit. Now it is without phone, we without WhatsApp, life will not be the same. Life will be empty. We can't think of without WhatsApp now. So, so the learning is that conditioning helps in creating our habits. And conditioning is repeated exposure repeated exposure to the ideas or to the environment. So when you think of Maruti, what comes in your mind? When you think of Maruti, what comes into your mind? Can you type on the chat? When you think of Maruti, what comes into your mind? Yes. Please type. Yes, let me check the chat box. Yes, so many uh, part, many people have responded. Car, Maruti 800, mileage, yes. Low cost vehicle, mass market, way of life, mileage, wide service centers, very good. Very good participation by everybody and good inputs. So Maruti is like car and many adjectives you have given with respect to Maruti. But then Maruti is also referred to as Bhagwan. That is Bhagwan Hanumanji. It's another name for Hanumanji. Yes or no? But we have forgotten or most of us don't remember that. Even a kid will say Maruti is a car. Yes. So Maruti, this has happened. Why this has happened? That when we talk, when we think Maruti, car comes. When we think Maruti, vehicle comes. It is because of branding. Yes, very good. 
it is because of repeated exposure to brand maruti it is because of repeated advertisements by maruti so the same process we can use for our advantage can can't we use the repeated positive exposure of ideas to ourselves to achieve positive attitude so in our programs to change habits we use the same process that is this is the success formula let's focus on to the success formula which you can use on your own also with the example of maruti it is clear that if we are if we are exposed to repeated ideas if we are repeated if we get a repeated exposure we form that habit so if we expose ourselves to positive ideas our conditioning will become positive it will create new conditioning it will build new positive attitudes it will lead to focused actions more results and more success so the trick is that we need to expose ourselves to powerful ideas in continuous manner repeated manner we we need to displace our negative habits with our positive habits not by much so if i want to wake up early suppose i am waking up at 10 am though i am not now but suppose i am waking up at 10 am can i start waking up at 9 now can i somewhat not we need not have right now goal of waking up at 6 am at 9 am let's have small small improvements which will give you confidence and then you will wake up at 8 then 7 then 6 so by the way 15 years back i wake up used to wake up at 9 or 10 but now i wake up around 4:30 or 5 am so this change is there because of this kind of process this kind of small change in oneself leads to big change in results and it is giving me huge benefits and this kind of template can help you so you need to track your habits for success so can you write down the track uh, can you write down the habits personal and business habits or goals that you want to track maybe waking up maybe doing things on time uh, engaging with the team planning self development so whatever goals you are having or habits that you want to change track on on a day to day basis so this is the date which is written here so every day you need to put tick if you have done this No, it's not a daily do to do list. This is a more of a habit tracker, or the action tracker that we want to change in ourselves. Yeah. So, so that is the important thing. Yes. So, as a action, if you want to track of making to do list, so you can write down to do list, or assigning work to team. So, if you need to tick if you have done. So, evening you need to review it every day. so give a time of review also review time every day to review your tracking uh, daily tracker so would you be reviewing it on a daily basis do you want change in your habits yes or no so use this on a consistent basis great great participation by all of you now coming further to some principles of jainism because being a jain these principles can really help us in uh, implementing this blueprint first is apology so i'll just take few minutes uh, to discuss about this uh, because uh, this these are very important uh, principles which can really help us in achieving this blueprint apology so in jain we have a one day where we forget and where we forgive each other so apology is a, a very powerful tool it doesn't mean that uh, just by being apologetic will help being apologetic from oneself from inner self 
and having that kind of uh, commitment to improve oneself. So by just forgiving other person, it creates better relationship. We are connecting with the other person, not from the ego, but from our heart. We are empathizing with that other person. So that's why apology is really a powerful tool. Ahinsa. It's non-violence, not just in our uh, food or in our uh, actions, but it's also in our thinking. Having the pure thinking, having thinking in a positive manner. That is the uh, consequence of imbibing a in ourselves. Anekantva, that is respecting each other's views. So that leads to true brainstorming and creativity in our company or in our family. Where we respect each other, we have the participation, we empower others. So it leads to empowerment. Ahar, it's like food. So physical fitness, emotional fitness is also dependent on our food, on our eating habits. So what can we do to improve our eating habits? Uh, how can we improve it? So that will also lead to better life, lifestyle. And our parigra is being minimalistic. Minimalism is a buzzword nowadays. So minimalism really helps us to be more happy, to use whatever currently we are using in a better manner, to have uh, ethos of sustainability in our day-to-day -day life, in our organization's practices. So these principles can really help us to improve our happiness quotient. Yes or no? So what, uh, uh, whichever, whichever principle, so I'm, yeah, whichever principle we want to use, so it's not for a particular religion actually, these principles can be applied by anybody. And these principles are there in, uh, in now propounded by modern management also. Yes. So one of our participants started using the blueprint and it has helped him to bring attitudinal change in him. It has helped him to bring attitudinal change and that has led to better self-responsibility, better responsibility within the team and they have been able to give a better ROI and also give their best. So that's why this principle is not only just uh, this blueprint, just not help yourself, but also help your team and your entire organization. And broad level, we can say the family and society also. It leads to transformation. So that's why uh, the fourth step is very important. As we have already discussed uh, some of the points, now I will just discuss here some parameters which can be really useful in the business context. As a business leader, as a professional, we also need to ha have uh, these parameters in our mind. And what does CEO looks for? What does business owner looks for? What does investor looks for? What does creditor or vendor looks for? How, I, how can I make better decisions in the context of the organization? So when we think of these ratios, it will really help us to improve our decision making. First ratio is ROI, which is return on investment. So return on investment is a powerful ratio where we uh, calculate this by taking as uh, say operating profit in the numerator and denominator we can take as net worth. So operating profit by net worth gives us that ROI. So ROI needs to be more than your cost of capital. So if your return is say 15% or in your cost of capital is 12%, then we can say yes, your company's uh, activities are having positive value addition. Otherwise, even if your ROI is higher, but if your cost is much higher, then your company is destroying the value. For example, if the return is 15%, 
but you are taking loan at the rate of 20%. Your capital is uh, taken at the cost of 20%. So in, if in realistic manner, it is actually destroying value by 5%. Isn't it? So, so this kind of consciousness we need to have and ROI needs to be more than cost of capital. Then the second term is very important is operating cycle. So as a business leader, as a person who is in the organization, in any department you are in, you need to know these terms so that you, are, you can take better decisions, you can add value to your organization. Operating cycle. So our operating cycle is very important to understand what kind of operating cycle we are having. Can we reduce the operating cycle? So operating cycle is the time taken to convert raw material into cash flows after sale of the products. So how much time are we taking to uh, or in your operating cycle? If it is too much, then we need to reduce it. We need to always strive to improve onto our operating cycle. We need to reduce the operating cycle period. So what process, what improvement can we do in our processes, in our people, in our productivity to reduce the operating cycle? And whether it can be better inventory management, whether it can be, uh, say, better credit management or cash management or supply chain. So many companies, uh, have this very important parameter in their mind to improve onto their day-to-day uh, -day operations, working capital. So this can really lead to huge improvement in profitability and reduction in cost also. Yes. So say Gujarat Ambuja, they, they, one of the practices I remember of Gujarat Ambuja. So they change their logistics from say roadways to ship uh, in uh, certain areas of shipment of their cement bags, which has reduced their operating cycle, which has reduced to savings of millions. So we need to uh, have this consciousness of how can we reduce uh, the operating cycle and improve the management. And therein also lies the concept of minimalism, zero inventory, zero wastage. All these uh, concepts can be really handy to us. Zero wastage, zero inventory. So zero inventory practically means less inventory. How can we strive for less inventory? But we have to maintain the operation, but we need to strive for reduction in our inventory. So that's why these concepts like just-in-time or quality management principles are, are there to improve onto these areas. Yes. Then another ratio can really help us is uh, this uh, ratio is uh, DE, debt equity ratio, debt equity ratio. Because if the debt to equity, that is if we are very, if we are having higher level of debt, then probably it can be, uh, our financial risk can be very high. That's why bigger companies also are striving for lesser DE ratio now less debt to equity. So Reliance is net debt, zero net debt company. Because that is reducing its risk of financial leverage. So I'm not saying that you need to have zero debt, but you need to see this uh, parameter and you need to strive for having an optimal leverage so that you can have higher returns. Yes. And CR, current ratio is also a very useful ratio to improve our liquidity improve the operational liquidity because current ratio helps us to have the performance parameters in terms of current assets and liabilities. So what kind of levels of inventory we need to have, what kind of other current assets we should have, so this ratio will help us. And the continuous feedback. So as I have already discussed with you, we need to have the parameters with respect to uh, certain parameters can be tracked daily, like the inputs. For example, ROI uh, will always be tracked on a yearly or quarterly basis, but the inputs with respect to these areas can be tracked daily also. Like suppose if you want to improve sales, so number of meetings or number of calls can be 
done on a daily basis. Yes. So that's the uh, uh, better part of it that we need to always have the continuous feedback. Let's take another example here. So Abhi, uh, what kind of series is going on? Cricket series? India is playing which country right now? Yes. India is playing which country currently? SA. SA is South Africa. Yeah. So South Africa and India, South Africa, one day is going on. Now suppose in the second one day, yesterday we lost. But yeah, say in second one day, suppose South Africa, say it makes say 400 runs. Though it should not, but say it makes 400 runs, hypothetically speaking. And India, suppose as an Indian team, we start tracking very late. Say at 40 overs, we have made just 150. And last 10 overs, would we be able to make say 200 or 250 runs? Impossible. So as a team, we need to then track it on an over to over basis. And especially it happens in T20 also. We do the tracking every over. How much is the score every over? How much we have scored? Which will lead to the check of the performance. We can ask ourselves what needs to be done further. Whether we should increase our run rate or if we are going stable then it's fine. If we have got very high run rate, we can anchor the innings also. So, so that's why this tracking really helps. I hope you have got this point. Thank you. Now let's move further. So this is the power of 1% blueprint. Can you see the difference? The difference between going beyond what is required and doing less than what is required. How much is the difference? So first equation, the person is doing 1% extra every day. 1% extra every day. And the second situation, person is doing 1% less. The difference is amazing. Yeah, some of you have already written it. 37, more than 37 times. That's the huge difference. In fact, 37.77. That's the difference. And if you see the times, it is much higher actually. So, a huge difference. But the difference in effort is just 1%. So, are you getting this? 1% difference can lead to huge difference in results. So, that's why. Uh, we need to identify this 1% difference every day where we can become better. So, and it should be backed by our positive self-image. I want to say this point again because sometimes our behavior is not aligned with what we want to do. That consistency is missing. So, the using of the tools that we have discussed and with positive self-image, we can replace our negative uh, conditioning with positive conditioning. From self-doubt to positive expectancy. From I can't to I can. So please say to yourself, I like to save money. I am debt free. I am having highest income in this current year. Yeah, despite pandemic, we need to say positive words to ourselves. What we want in our life. Say to yourself. Because that will become what you think you become. So these are the powerful tools that we need to uh, uh, continuously practice. So what will lead to transformation? Not only the thoughts of the knowledge, application of the knowledge will lead to the transformation. That's why we have to focus on application of the ideas. That leads to transformation. That leads to superior results. That leads to better achievement of the goals. 
so do you want to know how can we further help you or any questions in today's deliberation now i can take this is the question and answer time now so let's have the questions you can put on the chat or you can put your statement any statement on which you want to take feedback you can put and we can discuss so yeah lalit ji we can now take the questions yes rahul ji thank you uh, if anyone would like to uh, ask something or if you would like to speak please uh, write in the comment section i will so that i can unmute you from my end so if anybody having any questions please you can ask me and these are my contact details also further on also you can uh, interact with us for any doubts or any questions yes let's have some observations from your side or questions let's have the learnings so can you put down the topmost learning one topmost learning from this session put down on the chat so put down on the chat your topmost learning i'll share with everybody so am i audible is my voice cracking or is it coming up clearly so i have got a message that my voice is cracking no no you are audible okay thank you so yeah so i am getting your topmost learning here one yeah i will read it one by one so importance of goal planning and monitoring yes very very important very important learning which you have stated how to set goals smart goal framing with review and actions plan your activity for achieving goals absolutely because just planning your goals will not help we need to plan our activities we need to prioritize our activities plus we need to have 6 months to 1 year goals and then longer term so one of the questions which i had earlier that how to set your long term goals now long term goals will come from your vision and mission long term goals will come from your vision and mission so what is the purpose of your life what do you want to be in long term that's your vision what is the purpose of your life is mission through that first you write down your vision what are your dreams write down your dreams also what you aspire for what do you want in your life say world travel or you want to uh, become a famous actor or you want to be the ceo so what are your dreams write it down and then have break down those dreams into goals long term goals 5 years 10 years and then annual goals and then further short term goals i hope it is useful okay let me just read the other i got lot lot of messages on the chat it's an overwhelming response by all of you great great response by everybody let me just read few uh, few uh, statements which can help all of us in fact it can be a reinforcement how to tackle the quick changes or technology revolution absolutely so is it a question so i would just answer this how to tackle the quick changes how to tackle this revolution by being part of it by devoting some time towards that every day by taking it as a challenge in terms of improving your skills yes we can't be devoid of technology now so we need to learn on a continuous basis one of you have said as a prioritization of goals is very important absolutely because not to do list is also equally important as to do list so not to do in this next 6 months
focus on to that also remove those things that you don't want to do and focus on to things that you want to do steve jobs has always emphasized on the importance of focus you become successful not by focusing on thousand things but by focusing on one thing in a dedicated manner bruce lee has said bruce lee has said that champions don't try thousand different kicks they try one kick kick thousand times yes so yeah ashwini ji is asking how to bring all the team members at same platform who are having different capacity to perform who are having different background and having different mindset and iq very important question uh so when we want to say that we need to have get the best out of the team members first we need to know them also each team member will have its own strengths and weaknesses each team member will have its own dreams and goals we need to know their personal goals we need to know their personal interests that is what they want in their career what are their aspirations and through your interactions through your discussions you will be able to align them with your organizational goals then they would be in the same platform of achieving the organizational goals gurpreet singh ji is asking how to set goals uh it's an important question how to set goals goals will come from your long term vision from your dreams from your mission it might come from your job also from the organization might be giving you some key performance areas so you need to have goals from these different areas and goals can be of three types actually one can be more of something so more of sales more of profits uh say more of time time to your family giving greater time to yourself to your fitness so that is more of second is less of less of cost less of rejections less of uh, less of wastage of time giving less time to some activity so those are less of goals and then third is about the new new areas say new habits new projects expansion new product new market so all these are so these are three different kind of goals which you can set i hope it is clear gurpreet ji okay next is 100% of responsibility of work to become peak performer yeah, it's a very good uh, learning that we need to take 100% of responsibility of what whatever is happening to us another is self assessment and four d actions to get free from business absolutely self assessment continuous assessing of oneself will help us in improving ourselves knowing about our strengths strengthening the strengths and identifying the areas of uh, improvements and taking actions towards them 4d is very useful 4d help us uh, uh, to declutter ourselves to focus on to the priorities focus on to the high growth activities focus on to your long term goals so that's why this 4d is a very useful tool uh the one question is how to remain focused environment affects sometimes and social distractions also matter so how to remain focused every day so your day to day planning will help you and it needs to be driven by your goals because uh, that will uh, arouse the passion and uh, the dedication towards your goal the discipline will come from your passion actually discipline will come from your purpose of your life so that will help you to remain focused the tools that we have discussed in the uh, seminar it will also help you tools in terms of uh, daily tracker goal planning sheet uh, tools in terms of uh, uh, creating their habit 
the process of habits that we have discussed, so that will be useful. Uh, Srinivasu ji is saying goal, yeah, GPS is useful, no, no doubt about it. GPS is a magical tool, a goal planning sheet, and it, it really goes a long way to achieve whatever we are capable of achieving in our life. Shefali. Shefali is asking how to identify the purpose of our life. It's a very good question. Now, purpose of life will come from, uh, so you need to introspect within, need to know your strengths, need to know what you are good in, need to know about your values, about your philosophy. That will help you to frame your life life's purpose and it might not come in one day it might take a lot of time but start uh, start taking steps so my best learnings are transformational leader and impact of one person helps 37 times more productive wow absolutely so one percent improvement uh, can in fact lead to huge change in ourselves and it leads to confidence also because small is beautiful it leads to compounding effect. Like, let's take an example here. Uh, uh, so, if you invest at the rate of 8% per annum, say for 50 years, that 1 lakh rupees save becomes 20 lakh rupees. But then, if you invest at 15%, then it will be at least 4 to 5 times the amount. So, the 7% difference can lead to such a difference in the amount, five, seven times difference. So that's a huge difference that can bring in with the right kind of uh, investment that we do. So that's just one example relating to investment. Yes. So Arun, Mr. Arun is saying wheel of life. Yeah, wheel of life is equally very important part because it helps in setting our priorities. And these uh, aspects are interrelated. Like if we are physically fit, then we can do much better in our job also, in our business also. If we have less stress, if we are emotionally uh, better off, if we have got uh, peace of mind, then our relations will be better. Then we can do much better in our uh, career. So that's why these all these aspects are interrelated. And we need to have balance in all these aspects. We need to strive for improvement in all these aspects. So have goals for the wheel of life. Have goals in your areas of uh, personal areas also. Sometimes we tend to ignore those. We are just focusing on finance and career most of the times. Uh, most of us feel like that. So we need to have this balance. This is very important. So how can we bring in balance? Let's ask question to ourselves. What we need to do to bring in a balance? What goals we need to have to bring in balance? Maybe having more happiness. What actions can I take? So yeah, next question is, I'm just uh, reading the chat box. How can I become a good team leader without leading any team? The, are you not leading any team? So what? So, but still you are interdip we are living in interdependent world. We are having interactions with uh, the other person in our family, in our organization. So we need to take care of those team uh, skills, team management by effectively communicating with them by understanding them by uh, having the right kind of uh, uh, getting the best out of them the delegation all those things help yeah so importance of spirituality and jain principles yes it is helpful for success in life and accomplishment yes what is the best way? Another question is there. What is the best way to improve the team collaboration? Is the team building activities are useful? Yes, these are useful activities. It helps in better engagement. So yeah, team building helps. But beyond team building, we also need to focus on our attitudes. 
because attitude uh, is the formation of our actions <clears throat> it precedes our action habits precedes our action so for better team collaboration we need to have better culture and culture is the way we interact with each other in the organization it is a collective uh, actions of our of the people in the organization so what are we doing to improve our organization culture are we living our values in the organization so organization has certain set of values they might be very good values so to say always be there so what what are we doing to cover those gaps what actions can we uh, take to live those values those things will help us having better culture better collaboration transparency yes how can we minimize the yeah cross functional issues is a very uh, generic problem but very important cross functional uh, issues happens because uh, one of the very important reason is each function work in the silos so we need to improve the communication amongst each other better communication amongst each other better uh, communication will lead to better coordination so it will happen through our attitude culture focusing on uh, trust trusting each other uh, that will create speed that will create better collaboration and coordination so yeah i think uh, most of the messages we have discussed if if any question is left out or missed out please you can ask again sorry if i have missed out some question or some uh, query please ask it again or put on the chat also if you have any new question yeah lalit ji any question if you are seeing um so there is one new question as uh, is there how to resolve team members conflicts when they highlight other members shortcoming regularly on personal level hmm. that's a very uh, important issue actually uh, because conflict management is a very crucial role of a leader as i stated in the beginning leader's role is to change uh, crisis into opportunity is to conquer the adversity and it's very important actually to address this uh, this particular uh, attribute of conflict management or how to convert this uh, uh thing so maybe we need to focus on the reasons why conflict is happening what is the reason behind it how can we have better transparency better trust can we do one to one meetings to understand each, each one of them and then identify the root cause and sort out the issue most of the times we want to have better team but we don't give time to them we don't have meetings one to one meetings with them one to one meetings can be very useful because there the employee or the team member can discuss their professional interests their goals their areas of interest they can also discuss about what kind of support they want so it can be an healthy discussion where it can lead to plug in the plug in of the gaps i hope uh, this is useful for you any other query so engagement is very important engaging with the team member adaptive capabilities adjustments applied creativity to transcend the adversity because each situation will be different we need not have standard uh, answers we need to understand need to apply uh, our creativity understand the situation understand the person applying our mind in a right manner that will help thank you thank you all of you
Thank you, Rahul ji. I had one question from uh, Mr. Neeraj Kumar. Yes, yes. Uh, he is saying that uh, if you are in the middle level management and your higher management are not showing the leadership skills and are not taking the company in the right direction, how will you handle the situation? Uh, it's a this is a common problem which uh, many organization faces. There's a gap between the uh, different management. Uh, we can say the vision or the actions. Sometimes vision is there, but actions are missing from the top management. So uh, the leadership coaching will help. Uh, we need to, but we need to first have their buy-in. Because without their buy-in, they will not change. So we need, need to show them the importance of the change to them. Show them the benefits. Advocate the benefits. Advocate the urgency. That if we don't do, then what can happen? An organization might not survive. Survival will be at the stake. So that kind of uh, uh, right dialogue we need to do. Thank you. Yes. Uh, anything else, Lalitji? No, nothing from my side. Um, anyone wants to ask any question or we can round up the session. Very uh, good participation by the participants. Continuously they are participating on the chat and really uh, motivating for the speaker also. For the uh, speaker, this, this is an energy for the speaker actually. The way you have participated is really awesome, amazing. Thank you for your huge participation. And we will also share that uh, those two documents also on the email ID. Uh, so uh, you can also have the continuous learning. So if there is any other question from any uh, of the participants, they can raise their hands. Otherwise, uh, we can formally close it. I can't see. Uh, Nirval Mishra ji, do you want to speak? Uh, you have raised your hand. Lalit, can you unmute Mr. Mishra? Nirmal Mishra? Mr. Nirmal Mishra. Yeah, unmuted. Mr. Mishra, you can speak. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so, myself, Nino Mishra, sir, our one question how to increase team collaboration to boost the team leaders' CBSK? Very important question, Nirmalji. I have discussed it So, this team collaboration, uh, one of the very important things to improve the team collaboration is by engaging with them. That is continuous engaging and understanding what they want and accordingly aligning their personal goals with organizational goals. So that will help in a team collaboration. Second, we also have to work on our culture. Uh, we need to have the culture of our organization which promotes brainstorming, transparency, empowering the people uh, so that there can be better collaboration. And these four steps will also help, actually. Okay, sir. Anil Sharma wants to ask a question. Uh, is it okay, Mr. Jain? We can take... Uh, yes, yes, you... please. Yeah, so uh, Mr. Anil Sharma wants to ask a question. Uh... Yeah, please, please. Uh, yeah, Mr. Rahul, you talk about this simulation sim venture. Can yes. you share that, you know, that side so we can we can roam around and see where how the simulation take us forward? Yes, we will share on our email. Okay. And it is downloadable on Windows-based uh, laptop or desktop. Yes. Okay. So we, we, we can put our input and we'll try to figure out you know, where we go. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Correct. So we can have... It will help in improving your... Yeah. Yes. 
Yes. So we can we can figure out various permutation combinations which are, which which can take us forward actually, correct? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. So if there are no more questions, then. Uh... I would like to formally close this. Uh, uh, and Actually, uh, Rohinji, sorry to interrupt. Uh, can I speak one thing? Can I yeah, add yeah, one thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. this is not the closer. Actually, this is the beginning of your transformation. Your version two. So of course, this session, uh, Mr. Rohin will formally close. But this this journey has just started. Actually. We need to apply these steps to continuously improve ourselves. Thank you. Yeah, in fact, I wanted to mention that also, you know, that okay. this is just the beginning. It's an uh, eye opening for all of us. A lot of exercises, uh, which I also, you know, have noted and would be doing uh, <laughs> for myself also. And uh, I believe what Mr. Jan rightly said, uh, it's a beginning. We should start following what uh, we have been taught today. And um, I feel that, you know, it could definitely bring our version to uh, very soon. And thank you so much uh, for sparing your time, uh, Mr. Jan, and uh, all the participants also for being so actively involved in the uh, during the session. Thank you so much. You can write to CIA in case of any uh, queries and uh, Mr. Jan would be happy to answer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Stay positive. Stay connected. Thank you.